Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within the Long War. Last episode, we fought off a monster of a UFO and came through alive. We've got a good amount of cash on hand, but not enough to be able to afford the buildings we want to build, so we're going to spin the globe and see what else this world has in store for us. Well, that was quick. Alright, we're going straight to some alien abductions going on over Nigeria from the sounds of it here. Commander, Germany's getting bombed some more, but there's not much we can do about that. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. All right, off to Kano, Nigeria. Let's prepare a squad and get ready to get down there. So, who do we want to bring today? This is just an abduction. It's on a roadway, so that means we should have a decent amount of space. We're going to build together a squad here, probably bring a couple of our less trained rookies on this mission. Let's grab a couple of these people. We're going to put here Yablonska, you're going to be our gunner. Who else do we want? Let's grab Stax as a medic. We're going to want a little bit of firepower beyond that as well, so we'll want a sniper on this mission. Our snipers here, we don't have a whole lot of selection for them at the moment. Let's grab Wozniak for this mission. Low movement, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem for this long sightlined area. Who else do we want to bring? Let's bring an assault. We'll bring Ramirez. And we'll grab uh, Su Cho here. Who else are we going to bring? We'll bring one more of our super rookies. Let's grab uh, Anna Clark. You can come on this one. And we have two more slots to fill, so let's grab some more well-trained soldiers for them. We still need to scout on this mission, just to make sure we don't get absolutely blasted by unfortunate positioning. So let's bring Yamaguchi on this one. And what else do we want to bring on board? An engineer might still be a good choice. We have someone who can take out our cover, but we don't have a lot of surviving engineers. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six engineers in the med bay right now. Man, our engineers are getting wounded. For a while, it was always our scouts and our assaults. Now it's all of our engineers and infantry who get wounded. Crazy. Alright, well, in that case, I could bring an engineer, but do we have a backup engineer for important missions if we need one? Baulos? He's there. Hmm. Alright, well, we're going to grab what we can, then. We'll take, uh, we'll take our engineer, Ernesto Moreno. And let's gear these guys up quickly and get on the road again. So, Jablonska, you're going to grab yourself an auto laser as usual. Where? Alright, I guess we have to make items available first. There we go. Be convenient if uh, it wasn't such a pain to do these exchanges, but I guess it makes sense that we need to. You might actually wind up going back to a laser site in a minute and we have to re-equip these two, but we'll see what's what. Chen! Very quick equip for you. All we need is a pulse rifle and a chem grenade. There you go. Wozniak, you are going to grab yourself the laser sniper rifle, laser sight, scope combo. Fantastic. Ramirez, you're going to need yourself a shotgun. Thank you. And an arc thrower, so we can hopefully catch some of these aliens again. There we go. Cho, you're going to need a real weapon, so let's get you a pulse rifle as well as a scope, so your aim isn't quite as atrocious. And you're going to keep that med kit, and you're also going to take tactical armor. There you go. Alright, and Clark, you are going to also take real armor. You're also going to grab a pulse rifle. Actually, your aim isn't as good, so I'm going to give you the pulse carbine since we don't have a rocketeer on this mission. And I'm going to give you a chem grenade as well as a scope. That'll buff up your aim a little bit, so you're not quite as bad anymore. Yamaguchi yeah, gets to take the other remaining pulse rifle that way, as well as the arc thrower. And flashbang combo. And last but not least, Moreno, you're going to be grabbing yourself the uh, pulse sten gun and a double alien grenade combo. There we go. Alright, let's get moving. Let's launch this mission. Actually, first of all, Wozniak, I'm going to give you the laser pistol as well. Alright, let's launch this mission and see what's what. We 
we've got these rookies specifically so we can bring more bodies on these missions. You never want to bring less than your full complement as far as I can tell, because you're just begging for disaster if you do. Alright, our planes have arrived. We'll have to equip them with laser cannons once that is prepared. For now though, we're going to begin the assault here and deal with these guys invading us at the dam. Hot night. We've just received another report of an abduction in progress in a densely populated urban center. If Let's we do allow this the thing. To succeed, it's going to spread panic throughout the area. Here we go. So, got a lot of aliens to take care of, I'm sure. This is a very lengthy map. I doubt there's going to be any meld here. Because this map is normally one that does not have any meld, given that it's normally a story mission. We'll see, though. Alright, let's move up. Can I get you to a decent spot? I'll get you up to here, Yamaguchi. And you immediately spot some new enemies in position. Alrighty, well, at least we found them early, so we can hopefully do something about them before they get too well in position. Now, we can move up to here with Moreno and then potentially bomb them. Might be a good move to just blow up most of their cover. We're not going to be able to capture any of these guys, but none of them are heavy floaters anyway, so it's not going to give us anything new. I do want some more heavy plasma weapons, because we don't have any yet. But for the time being, this will do. We got lots of explosives, might as well use them. Oh yeah! I forgot the car would explode. That was a bit more damaging than I expected it to be. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to explode after a single shot, so it vaporized our enemies there, which is kind of handy, actually. Alright, Sucho, you're going to move up to here. Can you see that floater anymore? Somehow you can't. We're going to have to fix that somehow. I don't know why we can't see him, but apparently we don't get to see him. Let's move you up to here, Clark. Can you see him from here? Yes, only a 23% shot though, which is not very good since he's behind high cover. Wozniak can see him, he's got a 66, so we do have an emergency backup shot if we need it. Let's move Jablonska up to here. Can you see him, Jablonska? Yes, you can, with a 50% shot. Might as well take that, you hollow targeting him on if you miss. But you didn't miss, you just murdered him outright. That works. Alright. We do need to get ready though, because they are going to be... That floater is going to be coming back around here soon. We can't see him right now, and I'm pretty sure he only took four damage from the explosion. He did not get hit by the supplementary blast. So we're going to make sure that uh, nobody is exposed immediately, and we have a bunch of overwatches ready to go. Just to make it as unlikely as possible that we get murdered for no good reason by him. Five overwatches should be more than enough for a single floater. There he is. Did we miss five times? Did we really just miss all three of those shots? Four of those shots? Wow. That was some next level failure right there. We had five overwatches and every single person missed. Alright, well, let's try and move up with somebody and take a shot at this guy. Su Cho, I want to get you a kill since you're a new soldier here. Can you do it? There we go. Alright. Took another try, but we were able to get it eventually. Let's move Wozniak up. I want to try and get Wozniak in that tower so he doesn't have to move with us as much anymore. Clark, move up. Alright, that means it's safe to move up to there at least. Moreno, you're gonna move up a tiny bit further. Still safe, that's good. Move up with Yamaguchi. Alright, and we'll send up Ramirez as well. So far this is looking pretty fine. Alright, Nicola, you're going to move over to this burning car. Since it's already exploded, you're not going to be at any risk from being here. That first grenade was a lot more powerful than I always expect them to be. I did forget, though, that alien grenades have the chance to instantly blow up cars. Alright, overwatches. 
Nothing's known of here, so we shouldn't need to worry about anything like overwatching, but it's always nice to be safe. Let's move Yamaguchi up to here. Still nothing. Okay. Interesting. Wozniak, can you get up into cover here? Not quite. I'm just going to run you over this way. We're going to try not to activate any new packs this turn anyway, so you should be fine. There's still no meld on this map, so I'm getting the feeling there's not going to be any. Moreno, move up. Thank you. Got to make sure all the people who are a little bit further behind have a chance to catch up with the frontliners. Run on up there, Sucho. Very nice. Yablonska, you're going to move up to this flipped over car. Did to take a defensive position there and get ready to deal with whatever else may come our way. Chen, you're going to join them up there. Alright, so we've only got two people left back here as far as I can tell. So Ramirez, you're going to come up to... Where? There's nowhere good to push you right now. I'm going to stick you back here. Not great for you to be at the back, but you know what? You'll be fine. And Clark, you're going to come join us up here as well. Is that everybody? Yes, it is. All right, Overwatch. More of the wall exploded, but we'll deal with it. You hear that? Enemies are up ahead, and they've moved into our range, which means Yamaguchi gets first shot. And insta-kills him. Very nice. And some other enemies decide that maybe that wasn't the best plan and move back again. Now, that was a nice Overwatch. All right, so, Wozniak, I'm going to move you up to here. You won't be able to do anything this turn, because you don't have Snapshot, but in the future you'll be able to do a great deal of damage for us, so steady weapon there for next turn. And, uh, let's advance. We're going to send Yamaguchi up to here to burn the Overwatch. Lightning reflexes should ensure our safety. Yeah, we're good. And there is, in fact, an exposed Muton right there, which is a delicious target as well as a flying floater, which is not quite as easy to hit. Moreno can't actually make it up to that cover, unfortunately, which is going to make it a lot harder for anybody else to hit these guys. He can make it to there, though, which is good enough. Moving out. We are going to be hard-pressed to have shots to fire at these guys, it looks like, though. There's not a lot of great positioning here for us. I'd love to get our rookies some shots, but it looks like it's not a safe thing to do right now. Yamaguchi, if you take a shot at them, can you actually flashbang them? Nah, they're out of flashbang range. Alright, 72% chance to vaporize this muton. Take your shot. Well, 6 damage is 6 damage. It's not a 70% crit, which I was hoping for, but I'll take the 6 damage. And... Only 78% chance for success there, wow. Our intimidation is uh, becoming a problem. Moreno, take a shot of that guy. Nice! Nice kill. Eight damage crit, that was what exactly you needed basically to kill him. Awesome. Alright, so there's still the floater flying around, we're gonna have to deal with that. But, we don't have anywhere we can really advance to, so we have to be careful here. We're gonna set up a bunch of overwatches in the area as we push up a little bit. Now it's actually safer for us to move up into clumps because of the fact that the floater is not going to be able to um, throw a grenade at us, which was a problem we could have run into before. So we're going to run some of our troops up. Clark, you're going to join us up here. And we're going to have the rest of our team overwatch to give us a good chance of taking out this floater if he tries to come towards us. I'm guessing he's going to want to go away, though, since he's by himself now. Yes, hello? Yeah, he's flying away. Sounds like there is a mechtoid up ahead, though, which is not good news for us. Ramirez, move up. And there it is. Hello, mechtoid. And he's invisible and on Overwatch. That's an unfortunate. I always get annoyed when the enemies immediately vanish when they have a chance to activate. So, Wozniak, you have a 100% chance to basically murder this guy. You cannot see that sectoid over there, which is not good. Our team is a little bit split up still, which isn't great either. Let's move Jablonska up to there. There we go. Okay, Moreno, you have nowhere good to take cover over here either. 
Now, Clark, you could get over here and you probably will not activate the Mechtoid's Overwatch. There you go. You have now a shot at this guy, which is what we want. I need to kill him, because if we can kill him, then he won't be able to mind meld with the Mechtoid and make him a lot harder to take out. So we can see him, but I'm guessing this truck blocks him from Wozniak, so there's no way for him to hit him? Yeah. Well, this is less than ideal. Yamaguchi could move up, but they're not going to have a great position no matter what we do with them. I'm probably going to just reload with Yamaguchi right now, because really we need to have some more ammo. Our frontliners are in trouble here, though, if this guy moves up on us, because we don't really have a good way of stopping him at the moment. What I may do is I may just smoke all of, the, all of our friends here. Because we can, uh, we can dense smoke right into here, and that'll give us some pretty solid defensive bonuses. It means that one of our rookies is not protected, but it will mean that most of our team is in a safe spot. All right, and we're going to overwatch with the other two, but what we are going to do is we're going to take this shot with our sniper. I wonder what his accuracy is right now. Look at all those bonuses. The high cover doesn't even matter. <laughs> That's 50, 60, 149, 156, 171 aim. 61 aim? Something like that. Something ridiculous. All right, take a shot at him. Kill him dead. All you gotta do is that six damage. Thank you very much there, Wozniak. Alright, Overwatch. Mechtoid is a problem. Hopefully he double moves. Nice shooting there, Cho, I think. Looks like Moreno missed. I think Cho got him. He double moved. Oh, fantastic. Close combat specialist goes off. Thank you for suiciding there, Mectoid. That would have been a lot harder if you didn't. Of course, you're in my smoke now, which makes you a lot harder to hit. But, still. Oh, now you're gonna mind meld him? You butt. Alright, we need to kill this guy then, because he's still giving us a hard time. Can I move closer with Clark to get a better shot at him without making myself be basically dead? I'm gonna move up to here. That way Clark has a shot at this guy, but more importantly, still has a 43% chance to hit this guy. Please kill him. Yes, Clark! Good work. Alright, Mind Meld is gone. That's what we needed. Okay, so we need to take this guy out now. We've got a whole lot of firepower we can throw at him. We've got a lot of strong soldiers right here. Of course, some of them can't see him yet, but they will be able to if we just move them a little bit. We're going to move Ramirez around to here. He can still take two shots at him from here. So he will, just for the fun of it. They don't do a lot of damage with a shotgun, but I mean, what else are we going to be able to shoot at with the shotgun anyway right now? There we go, that's seven damage off of him. Now Cho, I'm going to try and give you this kill if we can. So, we're going to have Chen move up to here. Chen, take a shot at him. Looks like the smoke doesn't actually help him. Interesting, I kind of assumed it would. There's some more damage. He's down to only four health. All we have to do is get a four damage hit with Cho, and that will be the kill we wanted. I'm a little bit hesitant to take it right now, because I bet you they'll do three damage if I try this, but we're going to try and give you the kill, Cho. There we go. Six damage. Very nice. Alright, so you're out of ammo, so you're in a bit of a pickle there. We're going to have you Overwatch, although I shouldn't have done that. I should have had you Steadied Weapon. Because I'm pretty sure Overwatch does not use the increased aim from things like Squad Sight. It only overwatches against enemies you can actually see. So I probably should not have Overwatched there. But, that wasn't Yamaguchi I moved, that was our Medic. That was Chen. Yamaguchi, you're going to move up to here. There are more aliens on the map. We don't know what they are yet, but we know they're there. Running. Got a bunch of people who aren't in cover right now, but I'm not worried because we've killed everything that was in that pack as far as I can tell. Sounds like there's just sectoids left. So we're going to move up and find out. There now. Nothing here? Alright, well, we're going to take a turn to reload a bunch of our soldiers, so we're probably not going to worry too much about... Uh, 
rushing up this turn and finding these enemies right away. Again, there's no meld, so there's no rushing timer. We're just going to push up gradually and make sure we have all the ammo we could ever need. Because a bunch of these people were pretty darn low for ammo. Chen, you are going to go over to here. And from that position, you can easily reload. Like I said, lots of reloading happening right now. Yamaguchi, you're going to move up to the middle here. There you go. You're going to overwatch for us, because we need some people protecting us. You and Yoronska both, both, rather. And stop standing in that corpse moreno and do your job. You're going to move up as well. Roger, Dodger. Alright, moving up into position, those guys are all going to overwatch, and Wozniak, you are going to steady weapon. The better the aim we can get, the better. There are aliens over here. Are they going to come get us or not? Nope, we get to go find them. Lovely. Alright, so we're going to move up with Yamaguchi. Still nothing. These guys must be quite some ways away at the end of the map. Alright, well, let's make sure we can get everybody forwards into a decent position. Clark, you're going to push up and see if you detect them from here. Nope, you're good, so we're going to take a more aggressive move with the rest of our team then. Moving Chen, you're going to move up into this truck. There we go. We can afford to really push up into actual cover here. We'll send Su Cho all the way up to the front. Wozniak's gonna chill out up in his tower. Where are we gonna put you, Yablonska? I don't know. I'll put you over here on the side of this car. Even though it's angled funny, you can still take cover here against it. Moreno, what do we do with you? I don't know. Ramirez, what do we do with you? I still don't know. I'm just going to stand you out here in the open. You'll be fine. You and Moreno both are going to take the risky positions this turn, but you'll be okay. Nothing bad's going to happen to you. Overwatches. I meant to steady weapon with our sniper, but I overwatched him instead. Ah, uh, well. Let's bring Cho over to here. Still nothing. Let's bring Yamaguchi up to here. There you are. Oh, there's an outsider, really? And a sectoid commander. That is worrying. They're just outside of flashbang range. Okay, that's a problem. That is a problem. Because those guys are nasty. We don't really want to let them live. But we have a hard time to do anything else to them to stop them from being able to do anything to us. Chem grades that are also just short, because that's not in range for this. Moreno, you can move up and you might be able to grenade him, but this building in the way is going to be a problem. Because you like to throw straight through things. Can you throw over this building at all in any direction here? Yeah, like I said, I shouldn't have put it there, because that building is a problem. I can get the grenade lob to go over this way, though. I just can't put it too... Oh, yeah. That's as far as it'll go. So we're going to blow up as much as we can of their cover. I think that metal grating there beside, though, does not explode, even with alien grenades. But we're going to try, just to see if we can get them into a nasty position. I think it just blows up the canisters inside it. Yeah, cover's still there, so that's not great. Ramirez could run and gun and head up to the front lines over by this car, but he probably he might not even have a shot from here. We just blew up the cover, he might have been able to stand beside. Let's run and gun anyway. Get all the way up to here and see what happens. If I can capture that sectoid commander... Is this the first sectoid commander we've seen? It might be. I'm going to overwatch you there, Ramirez, because they can't see you. Cho, you have a shot. 39% chance to take out that uh, outsider. And we missed. All right. It was a valiant effort. Wozniak, you might take a shot, but yeah, the idea here is we want to capture that commander, because if we can capture him, oh baby, that'll be nice for our progression. Let's send Yamaguchi up to the front over here, because we want two people who have the ability to capture here. If they capture, if they mind control my assault, though, we were in so much trouble, because that close, close combat specialist is going to ravage us. 
Let's move you over to here, Chen. Already there. I think this might be the first sectoid commander we've actually had to fight in this game, in Long War, which is a worrying development. Let's move you over to here, Yvlonska. Let's see if our sniper can take out that outsider. Because if we can at least remove one of those enemies, it'll be real good for us. Outsider, we have a 100% chance to hit him. Very nice. Let's make sure we kill him as best we can. Please take him out, Wozniak. Four damage? That was all you could do, really? Clark, you have a chance to shoot at him. 38% to hit the guy we need to die. There you go. There's the nine damage crit. Well done. All right, now the commander is the only set unit left on the board, and he's mind-controlling one of our rookies. You know what? Of all of the people you could choose to mind-control, that is the best one. And we resisted all of the panics as well, even though one was only a 66% chance for our new soldier here. That is real good. So we can take this guy down this turn. We have two chances to capture him if we need him. We have the ability to rush in there and obliterate him with uh, firepower from point-blank range if we need to. This guy is doomed this turn, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's come all the way back over this way and take a shot at him with Wozniak. Not at our own soldier, thanks. We don't want to kill our own people. 91% chance to hit him. Let's see how much damage this does. Six. That's pretty good. We don't want to kill him is the important thing. We just want to wound him. So we might want to use Moreno's stun pulse, or rather pulse sten gun. Stun? What am I talking about? A pulse sten gun rather than one of our main weapons, because this does less damage innately. And you can't see him?! He's right over here. How do you not see him, Moreno? I hate vision in this game sometimes. Because Ramirez, you're going to run up right up next to him. And from here, you have a good chance to capture him. I'm on it, Commander. We're going to have two chances to capture this guy. Right now, our chance is only 30%, though. We need to bring him down a little bit. We're also going to move up with Yamaguchi and have another shot at him from right beside him. Either of these can kill him if they have to. Hopefully, we can make it so that somebody else can do the kill shot if they need to. Moreno, I should have probably thrown a grenade with you first, but I don't actually want to insta-kill him, so we're going to be a little bit careful here. If we move up with Chen... The thing is, now, I am kind of worried about instantly killing him. Any of these weapons have a decent chance to just cause him to die. Heading to that location. Yvlonska, what is your weapon's base damage at this point? You can't see him either. I keep forgetting that. Okay. This is not great. We need to chip some more damage off this guy, but if we can't see him to attack him... How can none of these people see him? He's literally right in front of them. He's right here. They can see the magic lines leading straight to his face as well. You can see him, Clark. You only have a 28% chance to hit him. Take your shot anyway. Do not kill him. Well, you didn't kill him, so I guess you listened. Alright, this is unfortunate, because I want to shoot him to weaken him, but I do not want to kill him. And we are so close now that we have good chance to kill him with either of these people. So we may just need to take a low chance to capture, and then kill him if that fails. Because we have basically a 100% chance to kill him right here with Yamaguchi. So we'll take our 30% chance for a capture, and if that fails, then we're just going to have to murder it. Because I don't see how we could reasonably... ...reasonably take him out with anybody else, since literally nobody else on our team can see him somehow. They're all standing right here, but for whatever reason, this guy is invisible. Ugh, game, you are such a butt sometimes. Yeah, in theory, I could throw a grenade to, like, just clips him a tiny bit, like this. That might do enough damage to increase the odds. It's not going to hurt us. I think we'll do this. This should give us better than 30%. And shouldn't kill him. One damage. Ooh, baby. Alright, Ramirez. Stun him. 43%. That was a 13% increase for that grenade. That's not bad. Can we get the stun on this guy? 
Yes! Oh! We got him! Oh boy. Alright. Operation Hot Night is a success. We've killed ten aliens, captured our first sectoid commander. Very nice. Very nice. I'm glad he decided to mind control our rookie instead of mind controlling somebody important. Either of our scout or assault would have been real bad if they got mind controlled. Su Cho is a scout sniper. She's going to probably turn into a sniper for real then because she's got pretty decent aim. Highest of all the new recruits, I think. And Clark is a weapons specialist. So she's not got great aim, but she's got decent mobility. And Moreno has been promoted to sergeant as well. Well, you can get a repair upgrade, smoke and mirrors, or a ranger, all of which give you additional mobility. I've been taking repair on all my engineers up until now. But I don't know if I'd like... I like my engineers having repair. I don't know about that. I like them being seriously devastating explosives users. I don't know. Like, maybe if we had taken all smoke grenades. We could have gone smoke grenade, dense smoke, smoke and mirrors. How would you... like... Yeah, rapid reaction's not great. Sharpshooter's not great. Ranger's not great, as far as I can tell. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're gonna grab repair just so that we can turn them into robot medics if we need to. I don't know how likely that is when we actually wind up having um, mechs, but we're gonna grab it just in case. And we're gonna hold off on these two's upgrades for now so we can see exactly what we want later on. We did grab another alien pistol, two sectoid corpses, three floater corpses, two muton corpses, our first sectoid commander captive, four illyrium, seven alien alloys, 13 weapon fragments, three meld, and a mectoid core. I'll take it. Got 90 credits as well, and Nigeria's panic has decreased by two. Awesome. Touch, so, if we head over to the situation room, actually, we're going to do this before I forget. We're going to go to the hangar, aircraft list. We have new interceptors here, which do not have the right weaponry. So, Raven 7, we're going to give you... Oh, hang on, are they not done yet? Oh, they're not done yet. Okay, well, in that case, we're just going to rename you then, planes. Raven 7, what is your name going to be? Hooter Saito? No, thanks. Flipper? No. Freebird? Sure. Why not Freebird Leonard? Why not... What are you going to be? Babs Babington? No thanks. Nugget? Nah. Pointer Okoye? Tally Ludlow? Pickle Kirkland? Some very unusual names. Firefly Redruth? Sure. Firefly, you get to keep your name. Alright, so... We're looking pretty solid here. We have a mectoid autopsy in a day. We've got a bunch of satellites and stuff coming up. I'm really excited for these armors when they're eventually completed sometime in the future. But... For now, we're going to have to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some XCOM Enemy Within Long War for you. If you enjoyed today's episode, let me know what you thought about in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye